What's up guys, today we're checking out the 12 man cabin tent by Ozark Trail. It is a massive tent with integrated LED lights built into it. It's definitely a must have for anyone that has a large family and is ready to get out there, do some camping or in our case, some glamping. And it can be found on walmart.com for $249 and also amazon.com for $249 free shipping. And I will leave a link down below so you guys can check that out. It comes in this canvas type bag with rolling wheels, which is definitely nice being that this thing is pretty heavy. So let's get into setup and then we'll do a full walk around and show you guys what we're kind of dealing with and we'll do a full review on this thing. All right guys, so you guys have a big family or you guys bring a lot of stuff, you're looking for like a glamping style tent to uh, take with you to wherever it is that you're going. We um, have done a few trips with this tent and I wanted to make sure that it was something that I could personally recommend before doing a video for you guys. So I wanted to make sure that it went through a rainstorm. I wanted to see how it was gonna to be to set up at an actual campsite, not just throw it up in my backyard and tell you guys it was fantastic. Cause uh, that's not how we do reviews here. I wanna basically beat the crap out of something and make sure that it's gonna hold up for you guys if you guys decide that it's the right item for you. So what we have here is my personal 12 man Ozark Trail instant cabin tent. So this one actually has the LEDs built into it. And I love this tent for the simple fact that me and Nikki put this tent up in like three minutes. It goes up so fast, it's insane. It literally pops out of the bag, it unfolds, and then you have these uh, pieces here that are already attached to the tent. You just slide them up and lock them into place and you go around the whole tent and do that for all of them. And that's it, the tent's up. You throw your stakes in. Did you say steak? See, now you got me all excited. And you move on. So it is absolutely fabulous. The tarp here that we put on here, it is additional. Um, it has nothing to do with uh, water or anything getting in the tent. So with uh, it being super, super hot in Florida, like insanely hot, if you guys are familiar with the area, um, we actually camp with a small AC unit in this tent and I will show you that. But we wanted to make sure that we try to keep as much airflow in the tent as possible. This tent allows a ton of airflow um, because the rain, the rain fly on this has a pretty good gap and the air is able to flow up underneath the rain fly and then get into the tent because the top of the tent is completely screened. So, and that's great and it works fabulous and in cooler months, I'm sure that would be great. But for us, I wanted to try to keep some of that air in. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me talk. Let's go check out the tent, come on. Take my flip flops off. It's kind of a mess because uh, it rained and uh, yeah. That's what happens when you camp, things get uh, dirty. All right, so inside the tent i am six foot three my head does not hit i have room over top so to be able to fully stand inside the tent and not have to crouch down uh, i think is personally amazing i'm really really happy with that uh, as you guys can probably tell this is me on the one end of it i'm all the way up against the back of the tent if you look out over there that is obviously a ton of room so just to give you guys an idea we had a queen size air mattress in here Ethan slept on a full-size air mattress. We had a Van Gogh double-seater couch in here, plus all of our gear, uh, and we did not feel cramped. Now, they say this is a 12-person tent. Um, I There's no way that I would cram 12 people into this tent, uh, but I guess probably you could. Um, it, this is a good like family tent. Five people, no problem in here, I would say. Um, I mean, we had three in here, no problem. We had plenty of room. So very, very comfortable as far as the room goes. Uh, I don't feel like it's a 12 person tent. So you guys can see the mesh up here. So you get plenty of ventilation, no matter where you're at in the tent, which is great. Cause um, 
it's Florida. It gets ridiculously hot here, in case you uh, don't know. So uh, having nice ventilation is uh, a must here. So on the ventilation kick, let's just show you all the other ventilation. So we have a huge window in the back and uh, let's show you guys, we'll just unzip these. All mesh, big window. We have another big window right here, same thing. Opens wide open, zippers feel nice, no problems there. Big mesh window, yet another window here. So this is the other door, I guess you would call this the main front door. And it obviously has a big mesh panel. And when you're not using this to, like if you wanna close this off completely, um, this is actually your door up here. And right now I have it in a canopy mode. So they do give you the poles and everything to do that. You can make it like this little overhead canopy. If I'm being honest, we never use that. We always just have it as a normal door. Um, it's just not something that we use. We have a 10 by 10 canopy that we use. Uh, it's, it's kind of gimmicky. I just, um, it's just kind of a pain, honestly. So we just don't use that. We just leave it like a normal tent door, but it is there in case you want to use it. On the other side of the tent, we have the same one, two, three windows. They open just like the other ones. We have some storage pockets here. There is an electric pass through right here. So you can get your electricity into here. We did in fact use that. We actually ran electric in here and we actually had a fan and an AC going in here. So yeah, that's really nice that they give you a way to pass through so you don't have to like leave a door a little bit unzipped. So I, I do like that. As far as like how dark it is when you're sleeping, if this is out in the sun, it's gonna be pretty bright in here. It's not a blackout tent by any means. It's not a dark tent by any means. So, you know, 7 a.m. in the morning, uh, there's gonna be enough light in here to, to wake you up if, um, if that's an issue. So you can always do, before you put the rain fly on, you can put a tarp over top of this and then put the rain fly over top of that uh, and that will block out a lot of that light so that definitely helps if that's something you're interested in you can do that a 10 by 20 tarp fits up here uh, beautifully so you might want to look into that option if um, if you guys end up buying this tent now it does have the built-in LEDs they're up there in that track bar and then they plug into a standard USB here they give you a little battery powered power pack. We did not use that. I have a rechargeable battery pack like that you would use to charge a phone and this works beautifully on it. So I would recommend doing that because um, the battery pack they give you, you have to run 4D batteries in it. Using the rechargeable battery pack is much more eco-friendly. I don't have to keep wasting batteries. So that's the way we do it. And our rechargeable battery pack is actually solar. So I can just leave it out for the day, let it charge, and then I can plug it in, have my lights at night. So that is nice. One of the things, that I also want to mention, it has all these loops in the corner. So there's loops here. You got loops up here, loops up here. Obviously this loop is holding a little, this loop is holding a little fan light combo. So that's kind of nice. So you can hang like your lights, you can hang your keys, you can hang whatever you need to hang from those. Um, it's nice that they gave you those. I'm, I'm really, really happy about that. As far as durability, reliability, and how this thing does in an actual camping environment. This isn't something we just pitched in our backyard. We actually took this out camping um, to make sure that it was gonna be good for you guys. So in the wind, we had about a 40 mile an hour wind. No issues, the tent felt amazingly sturdy. I was very, very happy with that. I would not have any complaints about this tent in a heavy storm. Rain, I mean, we had three torrential, torrential rains, very, very heavy rains, lots and lots and lots of water. And uh, the tent stayed completely dry. We had no issues whatsoever on any of the occasions that we've had it out in the rain. It has been 100% reliable. Now they do, um, all of the seams are taped and it is a welded in uh, ground sheet which is beautiful. So, I mean, as far as tents go for $220, this is what we paid for this. This is amazing. So we, it's done everything we needed to do. It's kept all of our stuff safe and dry. It's kept all of us safe and dry. It's been a fantastic tent. It's got a ton of airflow. Um, it's held up amazingly in all of the times we've had it out. So I'm very, very impressed with this for the money. Now, unfortunately, this is not the tent that I should be reviewing. 
So to give you guys just a little bit of backstory on this tent, we have a really, really insanely nice tent uh, coming. Uh, unfortunately, the tent is coming from overseas, which is proving to be a little bit difficult. And then FedEx actually lost that shipment. Um, the tent, um, you know, just to give you an idea, is a couple thousand dollar tent and FedEx lost that shipment. So because we knew we had a couple camping trips coming up and we were assuming that that tent was going to make it by those camping trips, we did not buy another tent. So we bought this in kind of a rush. Now, looking through YouTube and looking for from uh, reviews, there was not a ton of good reviews on this. People just didn't do a lot of videos on this for whatever reason. And um, we felt that we needed to do a review on it for you guys so you guys knew about this tent and possibly if you want to purchase it, we will obviously leave that link down in the description for you guys. So, um, so this is not an expensive tent by any means, but it did everything that we wanted it to do and everything that you will want it to do as a tent. Like I said, if you have a, like a family of five-ish, I think this is the right size. So they're calling it a 12-man tent. It's not a 12-man tent. Uh, I would never try to put 12 people in here. I feel like it would be pretty miserable and I'm not sure where you would put the gear for uh, those 12 people, but um, yeah, five people, yeah, you could definitely do five people, six people, no problem. Um, we are gonna be taking this to Jenny Springs in about two weeks, which is gonna be amazing. Like I said, when our other tent comes in, we're gonna be doing a huge review on that because we have, um, it will be the only one of these tents in America so if it ever shows up, we're really, really hoping it's going to be here soon. Um, not 100% sure on that. Like I said, FedEx did lose the first shipment, unfortunately. Otherwise, we would be standing uh, in a much bigger, uh, much different tent. So um, if you guys are interested in that, make sure you guys uh, hit that like and subscribe button for me. And um, if you want to take some guesses on what that tent might be, go ahead and do that in the comments for me. And uh, we'll see if anyone guesses it. Um, I would assume there'll be some type of a prize, something, something, some type of giveaway. So I appreciate you guys checking out the review. I hope I answered any questions. If there's something that you specifically want to know that I did not go over for whatever reason, please let me know in the comments. I get back to everybody super, super fast. So if you have any questions, I will definitely get them answered in a timely manner. And um, I will just let you know my full opinion. I do think for the money, this is a great tent. I don't think you can go wrong. As far as setup goes, me and Nikki can set this tent up in about four minutes. So all of the poles come pre-attached. They're already attached just like this. And they have like a quick release and you just slide them up and lock them into place and that's it, done. It's almost like an instant canopy. Um, so you just go around to all the poles, slide them out till they extend and click. And once they click, then you just keep going to the next pole and boom, it sets itself basically right on up. So like I said, in about four minutes, completely set up, ready to go. Um, and then all you have to do is, you know, stake it out, put in your uh, guy lines and boom, you're done. But it's just a solid, solid, solid tent. And like I said, I will leave a link to it. That way you guys can pick it up for the best price that I found it for. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And uh, thanks for being with us, guys. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And we will see you guys on the next one.